ones that stick it out. And if they don't give me room, well, then I'll give them a while. I'm gonna smoke my tires when the victory cows. I'm gonna be there, be there. I wanna see my face up on the jumbo screen. Feel the wild high metal of a winning machine. Because you win or you lose, and there's no in between. I wanna be there, be there, be there. NASCAR on speed. Welcome to Rockingham, North Carolina, as we kick off our eighth chase race of the Pennzoil Truck Series season. Only three chase races left, two after tonight. It's the Oreo 250. On the pole, we have the 50 of Jack Canaramo, two's outside the 44 of Tim Gary. Then 30 of Alan Bowman, fourth is Marcus Sachi, rang out the top five, you have DJ Reed. In sixth, it's Mark Owens. Diego Yepes up there in the points contention starts seventh, Luke Rainey starts eighth, William Bull in ninth, and Derek Hamill rounds out the top ten. For the rest of the day, you have J.J. Reed with Levi Shones. Then there's Steve Morgan. He's currently your points leader. Steven Taylor, too, is inside. Then you have Myatt McDowell and Keith Stevens, along with Colton Yo and Tim Randolph. Then there's Code Luigi and Landon Lyons. Carson Bowers with Zachary Fitzwater. Then second in points, Mathis Wells with Michael Cantor on the 47. Then you have Isaac Nichols with Jonathan Buford, Alex Stewart, and Sebastian Kukulon. Then there's Steve Larker and Riley Spurlytube. Trey Rainey with Jeff Wright. They have Oliver Galloway and Stephen Baker. And in the final row, Justin Zed down the 13. Two's outside the 23 of Michael Ferris. That's your starting lap for the Oreo 250 here at Rockingham. Let's get going with our starting command. On behalf of the many great folks at Bass Pro Shops, Cracker and MBA. and gentlemen, start your engines! Business as usual today, buddy. Nice and easy. Give your seatbelt a little tuck for me, buddy. You're ready to rock and roll. Buddy, be ready here now. Fill that thing out real good here for the first lap or so. Make sure you got a good feel for it. This has been a great race in the past. Jack Cameron was almost won here last season before he getting passed by Luke Rainey in the last lap in turn four. What's going to happen this season? Pace truck in. 38 laps at Rockingham. One mileage time run. Let's get going. Cameron leads to the green flag. It's out. We're racing at Rockingham. To lead lap one, Jack Heron from the pole does it. Here comes DJ Reed in the bottom lane, the 33. Diego Gepez and the 87 coming as well as they go through one and two. 33, DJ Reed clears for the race lead. Cameron falls back and some trucks up high into the wall through one and two. Land lines one of them and a few fall back. Reed pulls away. Cameron trying to get down the second position. And then you have third, Diego Gepez coming forward. William Bowen for fourth and Alan Bowen. Levi Schoen's taking it three wide in the 22 truck. Here's Luke Rain, the 80. He's been so great. Here at Rockingham in his Pento Truck Series career. It's a track he's always been good at, and he won here last season. So it'll be interesting to see if he can get back to victory lane here at Rockingham. Down the back they come. I saw Steve Morgan. Your points there again to the walls. They came up too. As meanwhile, guy was there in points just back a little bit. Diego Yepes up to second. He passes Jack Carano. He's currently your highest chaser in the field. DJ Reed, however, leads the race. And here comes Levi Shelton on the 22. He grabs third away. And Cameron is back to fourth, and here comes Marcus Sachi on a charge. He's inside the top five. They have Bullen and Luke Rainey battling hard as they come off two. Luke may have gotten to the outside wall a little bit there. Bullen's going to drive in on the inside, inside and get by. Alan Bowman, top to bottom there to get down low. Here comes Keith Stevens as Luke Rainey continuing to fall back. There, there they go three wide. Colton Yo breaks low. Mathis Wells coming forward, second in points. He's getting a great run. Three wide to turn one. Luke Rainey falling back outside the top ten now. And he's way up against the wall. They're almost into it. Down the back stretch they come. For second, Levi Shones on the 87 of Yepes. As he gets to the inside in three and four, and he'll take it away. So Levi Shones now up to the second position. Yepes back to third. Pursuit your highest finishing chaser. Marcus Sachin up to fourth. Cameron back to fifth. Here comes William Bowen for that top five spot. The 98 truck to the inside of the 15 to turn one. Alan Bowman in the 66 just following that 98 through as they go through one and two and down the back stretch. Cameron with Alan Bowman side by side. The face truck got a good run off the top side. We'll see if Bowman can take advantage. Gets to the sixth position as he gets to the inside in three and four. Here comes Colton Young, the 10. He got a little tight there. Mathis Wells gains in as the 10. Yellows out. Caution number one. DJ Reed leads us back, and Isaac Nichols has been involved in the 29. 
and maybe the 44 and some others. Nichols, one of your chasers, torn up here, and a crash that happened possibly in turn one and two. It's back in front, DJ Reed. We'll see how the caution was caused with Isaac Nichols. Here's what happened about caution number one. Tim Gary in the 44 up against the wall. He'll get into it right there. And here comes Isaac Nichols in the 29. Hard in the gas, trying to use that outside lane. He maybe gets just a little out of the cushion up into the 44 of Gary. They get together into the wall and around they go. Steve Larker also on the outside in the wall. He gets into the 44. Tough break for one of your chasers. Tough break for those three. They're at the back of the field and they get involved. Hard hit there from the 29 to the 6. Steve Larker down to the apron up off the ground. Going for that banking and whatnot. This... In full speed. It's just a tough break there. They're running towards the back of the field, and that just kind of adds on to the frustration of the night for them. DJ Reed in the 33 leads us back to the caution flag. He's led pretty much every lap so far. And he'll be out front for the restart here in the Aero 250. 28 laps of racing to go once we get the green flag here at Rockingham. DJ Reed continues to lead. All the 36 trucks left in the race. As Reed is out front, he's dominated so far. Levi Shones right behind him in second. Diego Gepaz, your highest chaser, third. Marcus Sachi, fourth. William Bullen rounds up the top five. So they hit the restart zone for DJ Reed. We're back racing at Rockingham. Green flag. Levi Shones goes high along with a few others. They're going to be in the inside, though. Shones got to the wall. Through one, two, up high he goes. Marcus Sachi as well up high. Some trucks into the wall. Looks like Oliver Gow and a few others bouncing off the wall, scraping as they come off turn number two. Luke Ray possibly won them. Land lines as well. Diego Yepes in the 87 takes second away. Bullen for third in the 98 as Yepes charges down the 33 of DJ Reed. Looking low down the front stretch. Got a great run as they came off a of four. Bullen and Schoen still side by side for the third position. William Bullen going to take it in one and two. Yepes running a little bit lower than the 33 as they come off two. Down the back they race. He's all over the 33. Diego is. Chase him up the racetrack through three and four. 98 William Bowen there in third. Alan Bowen up to fourth. Colton Yo back to fifth. Here comes Math as well. He's trying to close in on Yepes so that Yepes cannot pass him in points. Wells wants to get there. Battle with the A7. Move the 51 of a few more spots inside the top 10. And he's right now currently in the sixth position. Code Luigi following his way through the 24th to seventh. Here comes Levi Schoens from the top to the bottom lane. It's for eighth. Up front. Bullen. From third, pass back to fifth. Alan Bowman grabs the third position, but Colton Yo is on the inside lane. The battle side has Bowman and will grab third and one and two. He clears the 66. Bullen now back for fourth as Alan Bowman goes up the racetrack. Falling back. Oh, into the wall back there, the 17. Bounced off the wall. Michael Ferris saw that, reacted to it. Jack Cameron did a great job keeping it out of that 17. We stay green for now. Bowman keeps fourth. William Bullen. Currently scored fifth. They have Mathis Wells on the bumper in sixth. Levi Schoen seventh. Code Luigi eighth. Riley Sprilly tip up to ninth. And Michael Ferris up inside the top ten. Front ten single files. They try and pull away. No one's been able to touch DJ Reed. He's gone out front. He's had the best truck all race long. And the Pez has been running top three pretty much all racing. Excuse me. Can't really do anything with them. Back here some battles. William Bowen, this for a top five. Bowen has it in the 98. Mathis Wells wanted it. He went to the middle lane. Levi Shones went to the bomb. Shones takes sixth on Wells. 51 off the racetrack. Falls back to seventh. Shones in sixth. Can't do anything with William Bowen down the back stretch. Just so hard to make a pass on someone up towards the front of the pack. Y'all have pretty equal trucks, so it's very hard to make passing here. See DJ Reed right now doing a great job out front just controlling that race lead has the best truck here possibly but we'll see now over the longer haul if we can get a long green flag run how those how the tires wear out and how that's going to affect whatever happens in this race Colton Yell's just taking the second position away from Diego Yepes more importantly that's a point loss for Yepes a point gain for Colton Yo. even though Yo probably won't have a shot at the championship that's big for Yepes because he's trying to close things in a very tight points battle with Steve Morgan Mathis Wells so he wants to get up there and get any point he can He's currently back to third, but now being challenged as the 98 William Bowen looked low. But Yepes keeps it clear in the middle lane, keeps third. As they come down the back stretch, truck is sliding off turn number two, that tire wear taking its toll. No ballot towards the front. We'll see where Steve Morgan, your points leader, scored 27th. Not great for him. In fact, behind him, the only chasers are Marcus Sachi, who's fallen greatly. Remember, he was up inside the top 10. Carson Bowers and the 29 of Isaac Nichols. So, not many chasers behind that 12. Is DJ Reed up the racetrack. Almost into the walls. They come off two. He had to lift a little bit there. And here comes Colton Yonia Pez. To the back they go. 
They were coming to halfway this time by 19 laps to go once to get to the start finish line. DJ Rita dominated so far, he's led the most laps. But Colton Yo and Yepes are hunting him down. Yo to the outside, Yepes to the inside. Colton Yo, I think he wants the outside lane. More grip up there. With the tires running out of grip, he might want to be up towards the top. DJ Reed, DJ Reed again, close to that wall. Yepes closes in. He grabs second away from Colton Yo. Yo up the racetrack, might fall back to fourth as Alan Bowman comes for third. Once again, Yepes using a middle lane, a lower lane than the 33 of Reed who went up the racetrack. Yepes closes in, 18 laps of racing to go at Rockingham. Diego Yepes hunting down the 33 of DJ Reed. Maybe the A7 has saved his tires a little bit. Now he's on the charge. As they come off of two down the back stretch. Two trucks pull away. Third place, Alan Bowman. Still trying to get clear of Colton Yo. As they go through three and four. Once again, 33 at the racetrack. A7 a little bit lower. Maybe half a lane ho lower. But can't make it stick. As Alan Bowman does grab third. Levi Schultz up to fourth. Riley Sarayu up to fifth. Jeff Wright for the sixth position. Colton Yo falling back. Might fall back to 7th, possibly even further back as Matthew Swells in the 8th position is coming forward. Code Luigi now up to 9th. William Bullen side by side with that 24. That's 9th and 10th. And if Jack Cameron in 11th, so Colton Yo can fall back greatly here. It's the game line behind the 6th game right here. 6. 60 up to 6th. Colton Yo 7th. Trying to get down from Matthew Swells, fellow chaser. He does for now. Can Wells get the run? No, Colton Yo stays in line there, so Yo back to 7th. Up ahead, Levi Schultz for third on Alan Bowman. Can't get it done there. Coming to 15 laps of racing to go. Up front, DJ Reed. The best truck of the night leads. Here comes Levi Schultz for the third position on Alan Bowman. And they've run down second place, Diego Yepes. But how about Jeff Wright right now in sixth? Great run for him. He can try and get up here inside the top five and have a shot the win before this all said and done. So Schultz still trying to get by Alan Bowman. It's allowed Yepes to get a little bit of breathing room. It's for third, fourth, and fifth as Riley Sprilly is in this battle. And here comes Sprilly to the inside for Schultz. Schultz clears for third. Sprilly two clears for fourth. Bowman now kicked back to a battle with Jeff Bright. That's fifth and sixth. Jeff grabs fifth. Colton Yo now for sixth. Wells for seventh. Alan Bowman kicked back greatly. Code Luigi, Jack Canarama could look low on him if they're not too careful. Bowman kick back to 8th. Here comes Code Luigi looking for the 8th position. Put the 66 back to 9th. Possibly even further back. Bowman gets down line the 8th position. So falling back there. For a second. Levi Schoens underneath Diego Yepes. Move the 22 truck to 2nd position. Trying to hunt down the 33 of DJ Reed. Yepes in line in 3rd. Spray Tube got a little tight off the corner and falls back. And now Spray Tube has a mirror full of Jeff Bright. Here comes that 68 truck for 4th. Spray to trying to keep it down in line. Cameron gets by Code Luigi. Alex Stewart the same there, and it looks like Oliver Galloway will as well. Battle still for fourth. Jeff Wright, though, tight into the corner using a shallow entry. This allowed Spray to pull away, allowed Yo to get to the back of that 68. And now Schoen's overdrove one and two, and Yepes is there again. Spray to in fourth, so it's a four truck breakaway. Fifth on back in the battle. Jeff Wright trying to lead fifth on back, back up into the front four. 11 laps of racing to go at the Rock. Shones is there. He has a run down the front stretch into turn one. Spurly tube for third on Yepes. Is up front. No one has touched DJ Reed since he's gotten out front. But Shones is there right on the bumper looking high down the back stretch. Is that where you want to be? Through three and four. Following the tire tracks of that 33 of Reed. Maybe the truck just a little bit better for the 22 at this time. Shones all over the back tailgate of the 33. 10 to go. He peeks to the inside. Through one and two. Inside the 33 of Reed. Can he complete the pass? Re up the racetrack. It's a great run off the top side. Side by side. They run down the back stretch. And for third, Spray Tube grabs it from Yepes. He falls back behind Colton Yo. Levi Shones clears. New race leader in the Oreo 250. It's Levi Shones. Jeff Bright for third on Riley Spray Tube. They have caught Isaac Nichols with nine laps of racing to go. We'll see if Shones can negotiate the lap traffic. Jeff Bright to third, Colton Yoda fourth, Yepes back for fifth, Mathis Wells on the back of the A7. Shones moves to the inside of the 29, gets by easily, he clears in three and four. DJ Riga trying to do the same. Jeff Bright is emerged in third, he's going to get by Nichols easily. Here comes Colton Yo in fourth. So Jeff Bright gets by, eight to go for the race leaders. Colton Yo clears the 29, now Riders Brewer will do the same. Diego Yepes going to try and do the same as well. Mathis Wells. 
Remember those two in a huge battle for points, Yepes and Wells, especially considering the 12 of Steve Morgan is currently scored 31st and not in position to gain any positions. In fact, I believe he's your lowest chaser besides Nichols on the racetrack. For third, Colton Yo on Jeff Bright for the race lead. Read back to the inside of Levi Shones. Down the back stretch, side by side again, this time the 22 up top. DJ Reed down low. Off into turn number three. DJ Reed gonna clear Levi Shones again, so the 33 trick back out front. Shones kick back to second for third. Jeff Bright still in the side by side battle with Colton Yo. And Riley Spirituti there in fifth. Just watching those two side by side. Six to go at the rock. And once again, a crossover for the, for the 22. Shones, he went high, exit low. To the inside, he goes down the back stretch. Great run for the 22. Looking low, he gets down there, down the back stretch. Great run into turn three. Shones is back by DJ Reed. He clears easily in three and four. We're coming to see five laps left. Jeff Bright falls back. Shones pulls away with the race lead. Five to go, yellow would end it. Yellow up to third, 22 to fourth. Yepes back to fifth. Mathis Wells up to sixth. Stewart to seventh. Oliver Galloway for eighth. Jeff Bright back to ninth after getting stuck on the outside lane. Colton Yo looking for second. It would be another victory in his Penzo Truck Series campaign. We're coming to see four laps left. Colton Yo to second. Trying to run down Levi Shones. Shones winning the win one of the winningest drivers in any series that have been run. Trying to get a Penzo Truck Series win to his resume. He's won so much in Cup, so much in Target, never in Trucks. He's coming three laps left, just over three miles for Levi Shones. But Colton Yo is there for fourth. Yepes on Riley Spirogy trying to get away from Mathis Wells. Three laps left at the Rock. Levi Shones has to run perfect laps, but Colton Yo is there. He's rotating that course so well as they come off of two. A little bit lower for the 10. Down the back, he's looking. He's riding the bumper of the 22. We're coming to see two laps left. Shones up the racetrack. Colton Yo to the bottom lane in three and four. Yo off the corner. Coming to see two laps left. And Colton Yo now clears for the race lead. Two laps left at the Rock. DJ Reed there in second though. Here he comes in the 33 truck. Off of two and down the back stretch. Yo pulls away. As they bow for a second behind. Still side by side. DJ Reed cannot complete the pass on Shones. He finally will in three and four. Colton Yo goes up the racetrack. DJ Reed has got one mile, one lap left to try and run down Colton Yo. The white flag in the Oreo 250. Last lap at Rockingham. For third, Yepes on Levi Shones. But it's the battle up front. Colton Yo leads DJ Reed to turn one. Reed a little bit lower. Yo up the racetrack. Down the back stretch. Down Thunder Alley for the final time. Can Colton Yo hold off DJ Reed? Can Reed get the run through three and four? Yo to the middle. To the top now. Reed looking lower. Off of turn number four. Reed to the bottom lane. Side by side to the finish line. Who is it? I think Reed may have won it. Colton Yo did in the 10. Yo in the 10 wins at Rockingham in a dead tie. A dead tie at Rockingham and Colton Yo gets the victory lane. Can you believe that? Rockingham and Colton Yo wins it. Unreal. Another Penzo Truck Series win for Colton Yo. He may not have a shot at the championship. But that right there is insane. By inches, Colton Yo wins it at Rockingham. Truly special there. Can't even tell the margin of victory. They're not really camera angle, go to the helicopter. There's the margin of victory, and it is Colton Yo. The run that Reed got off that top side. Look at the run he had down the front stretch. He just ran out of time. And right there, the margin of victory at that white line. Or at the yellow line, you can't really tell, but it looks like Yo is about an inch ahead, if that. Watch this run from the helicopter cam. Watch the run DJ Reed gets on this last lap. So here they are for four. Here's the white flag. Colton Yo leading. DJ Reed is running a lower lane in these corners, and he makes it work. So there they are through one, two. Yo a little bit higher. DJ Reed to the bottom lane. And look at the run he gets down this backstretch. Closing a little bit. He's got to send off in three. Yo thinks the higher lane is the way to go. He goes to the middle, but he slides up a little bit too much right there. Reed in the middle lane gets a great draw off of four. Look at this as they come to the stripe side by side. And Colton Yo edges it out there at the end. That is amazing finish there here at Rockingham. Once again, look at it here. There's the margin. 
Right there, Colton Yo winning over DJ Reed at Rockingham. Let's now go check the finish results and see the chase standings. Here are the finish results from the Oreo 250 at the Rockingham Speedway. There was one caution flag for four laps and five lead changes among four different drivers. And what a finish in a dead heat. Colton Yo edges a victory over DJ Reed who led 28 of the 38 laps, dominating and loses by what I would say was an inch. Diego Yepes, great points day for him in third. Levi Sean's fourth, and once again, a great points day for Mathis Wells in fifth. You have Oliver Galway in sixth, Riley Spirit in seventh, Jeff Bright eighth, Alex Stewart ninth, and Alan Bowman rounds at the top ten. There is your top 20. We talked about at the beginning of the race, Luke Rainey, how Rockingham has been a great racetrack for him. He's always been really great at it. He fell back there on the outside, can never recover. Hands up 20th. That's a disappointing day for him, I'm sure, as he probably had high hopes coming into this race. We looked out the rest, and disappointing for the driver who finished in 31st, Steve Morgan. Came into this race with the points lead, with a shot to extend that points lead. Finishes 31st, and one of the lowest chasers, if not for Isaac Nichols involved in that crash. Nichols finishes 35th, then you have Morgan, the next highest chaser. So, Steve Morgan, 11th uh, of the chasers. Sebastian Kukulon, at some point in that green flag run, had her issues, put him out of the race in 36. Nichols finished lap down. At the right side are the point standings, and it's going to be close between the 51 of Mathis Wells and the 87 of Diego Yepes. I don't really know if anyone else is going to have a shot. Colton Yo's not really had a great chase, so he's not going to be that close. Uh, Steve Morgan, we'll see if he can try and pull it back together, but right now th this bad race really cost him a ton of points in this championship. And after this wild Rockingham finish where we saw a dead heat photo finish, last season the next track we're going to produced a photo finish in the Penzo Truck Series. We're heading to Talladega. The M&M's 300, the second to last race of the season. The championship could be decided right here at Talladega. I'll see you guys then.